and interested in money and in many things. We want to have more and more and more and more. And even we believers, we ask for more and more and more down here. And we dream with a lot of things. Better houses, larger houses, better cars, more money, more banking accounts, more this, more that. And we forget many times that the time is at hand. The time is at hand. The time is near. And for us as believers, the time at hand means that the Lord Jesus is coming. And all these things will remain behind. All these things will remain behind, my friends. Come on, people. I'm saying that all these things will remain behind. Hallelujah. You and I, if we continue faithful in the presence of God, we'll be caught up together with Him. Hallelujah. To be with Him forever and ever. But the things that we enjoy now in this earthly life, these things will be left behind. You following me this morning? So the time is at hand. That's why we must read, hear these words, means take it seriously. And that's why we must do what the Lord says in his word. Because listen, time is at hand. Time is near. Come on, shake your head. Put things in place. Put your feet on the earth. Think seriously. Time is at hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. I will say it again. Take it seriously because time is at hand. This Bible study is not for us to say, oh, wonderful. Mm, great. I want this. I love knowing more. No. Thing is that time is at hand. We must rejoice because time is at hand. Things are going to finish down here on earth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Things are going to finish down here on earth. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord. Come on, people of God. Let's rejoice in the presence of the Lord. Let's say, yes, Lord, thank you. Because time is at hand. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I'm getting inspired this morning. And I'm so sorry that this watch and clock is always running so fast. I cannot even start my sermon. But praise God, because the Lord is telling us something important. I want you to, to follow this Bible study carefully. If you want to get a little more before next Sunday, I advise you that when you go home, open your Bible again in the same chapter, and start it again and try to understand better the lord is right there he's teaching us something wonderful hallelujah blessed be the lord 